Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 13th. We're already here, guys. Now, I will be following up this reading with your weekly love forecast, which you can find in the link just down below. Or if you wish to support me on Patreon, you have access to all 12 Zodiac Sign love readings every single week, all 48 videos for the entire month. Now, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So check out three, especially that Moon, since after that lunar eclipse, a lot of emotional triggering. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. I hope it serves you. If it does, please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really do appreciate it. All right, Cancers, let's get started. For this week, July 13th. And a theme for the week. I like it. The chariot, the moon, the eight of cups, the ten of wands. Ten of wands, yes. The nine, <laughs> the nine of cups. I'm sorry, I've been doing readings all day. Solutions card, four of cups, nine of wands, the strength card. The theme of the week is the ace of wands. Wow, Cancer. It's looking like you're moving in new directions, especially with your career, getting things going, getting things off of the ground, new opportunities, embracing things that you're passionate about, and hopefully challenges you just the right amount. Now, when you have the chariot and the moon, this is about facing your fears and actually jumping when it comes to your career. Maybe you have something stable, but it's an admin job. And it's not really going anywhere or maybe you really want to launch or maybe you've been kind of working behind the scenes on like a creative project that you wanted to be like your dream job and perhaps you're writing a book and you haven't found that editor or finished it or perhaps you've been working on crafts for Etsy but you actually haven't launched the page this is about you moving forward staying determined but it's it's about advancement it's about discipline it's really about putting your energy in there, being a little bit more self-controlled with your time. Whenever we're really nervous or we have a fear of failure, we'll sabotage it. We'll put on a Netflix video when we're eating lunch and before you know it, we've been watching Netflix for hours, things like that. But you, it's about any kind of emotional sabotage that's keeping you from really embracing the career and just the creative expression that you're meant to do in this life. Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. Cancers, let's just be honest. You're just not about the nine to five. I'm not saying you don't have a nine to five, but that's kind of that kind of work is tiring. When you have the eight of cups, you really are looking for purpose and meaning in your career. And I'm not saying a nine to five doesn't have purpose or meaning, but it has to have creativity. It has to have more than just mental burnout. You're looking for depth. You like well, you want to like the mission. You want to be able to use your skills and speak and work. It's not just about a paycheck. And I think a lot of cancers out there are kind of you're feeling that. Kind of like, this is empty. What am I doing? I'm, I mean, yeah, it pays great. Or I might have a good view. Or I love my coworkers, but I don't feel fulfilled. I'm not happy. I, I'm feeling more burnt out. And I might not even be working overtime. You know, it's mental. It's emotional. It's physical in some way. And perhaps when you kind of have these realizations, you t your work becomes more tiring because there's a resistance that starts to create inside of you. You have the Nine of Cups with the Solutions card. The universe is saying, look it. Let's compromise. You can have the emotional, your dreams can come true and you can have all this happiness in your work. But we gotta be practical, Cancer. We can't just sit and daydream. We need to have a goal, break it down into three steps, like three smaller goals and then make a bunch of action steps. The solutions card is like, look, let's be practical, let's be objective, okay? So like, okay, you really don't like your job and maybe you wanna be an author or writer, maybe you wanna be a creative. Okay, the universe is saying, great. What do we need to do? Not what we want to do. What do we need to do? Well, I got to finish the book to get it edited. All right, that's step one. Well, I don't know how I'm going to finish 100 pages. All right, don't freak out. Let's give yourself, you know, 30 days and then break those pages down. Make it bite sized so that you don't feel overwhelmed by your dream because when we do that, then we don't move. It's like walking into a really dirty room you have to clean. You just kind of go in a circle and you don't know where to start, so you don't start at all. The universe is like, just be smart, forgive yourself, don't criticize yourself. Like, oh, I could have done it over the. Stop, stop, continue working, finish this project, and the more this gets done, the less you have to do with the other one. The Four of Cups. If this is this is self sabotage because you're bored, you're discontent, you're not happy with your work, or maybe your creative life, and you're just like blah. And when you have that blah energy, it's really hard to get motivated. And even if opportunities presented themselves to you, you wouldn't see it. You make an excuse. Oh, that would really be great, but I'm really not ready. It's not fine tuned. Oh, I really should learn this application first. You know what I'm saying? 
Nah, just do. Nine of Wands and the Strength card. You have to stay determined. You're right there. I know you're just tired and you're just like, well, I need this easier to just lay down and stare at the ceiling. But keep going. You've gone this far. It's not for nothing. Keep doing it. And you have the Strength card. And for me, the Strength card, while it does represent the card of, of breakups, what it is, it's endings of old cycles, habits, ways of being, people that aren't healthy for us. But most importantly, the strength card is a card of inner strength, inner self-love, inner self-respect. If you love yourself, love yourself isn't just getting pedicures or massages or playing golf with the guys. It's about doing what brings you joy. It's about respecting your own time, respecting your own commitments, honoring the promises that you've made to yourself. Self-love sometimes isn't just, you know, hanging out with a friend. Self-love is sometimes not picking up that remote control because you know it's going to put you in a Netflix spin and just going outside, taking your work and just sitting there and not judging it and just letting it flow. You know, it's really about having confidence in yourself and forgiving. Just let it go. No more comparisons. Theme of the week, Ace of Wands. Guys, this is going to take off. This will take off. It is going to bring new careers, new opportunities, new experiences for things that you're passionate about. It's even a little bit of travel as well. You might be moving jobs, businesses in some way, or doing something that causes you to move with your work. It's giving you a sense of wonder and freedom and excitement. You're right there, boo. Do not quit five minutes before the miracle. I hope this serves you. Guys, your love reading, the link for your love forecast is down below on my Vimeo page. Or if you support me on Patreon for some donations a month, you can get access to all 12 love Zodiac readings every week, all 48 videos, all month long. I hope this serves you. If you would like a more in-depth tarot session or a soul reading, my link is down below. Otherwise, I will see you next week for next week's readings.